Hi everyone, I wanted to share some information on the rental process. Um, I know a lot, a lot of re uh, realtors will not help people with rentals because honestly, there's just not a lot of money in it. Um, most leasing agents provide 50 or $100 to the realtor who finds uh, a tenant uh, for them. Um, and so in the end, it's, it's not a money maker uh, for a lot of realtors. Um, but when I got into this, I really vowed that I want to try and help as many people as possible find a home. Uh, I also believe that renters can become homeowners and uh, I like to prove myself and so hopefully I prove myself through helping you find a rental and then when you're ready to buy you're willing to work with me. But I want to give a little bit of information on the rental process. Um, most property management companies and uh, landlords in the area are going to require either two or three months rent uh, when you move in so first last and a security deposit typically is a total of three months rent if it's if it's if they're asking for all three uh, sometimes if your credit's really good um, you can get by with just first month and security deposit the other thing is they're all going to do a credit check they're all going to do a background check um, criminal history they're looking at um, Oftentimes, if there's something recent, that's going to be a challenge for you. If it's something that happened a long time ago, oftentimes it won't be a problem. Um, as far as uh, credit, they're looking for evictions. They're looking for collections. So if you have outstanding collections or any type of recent eviction or really any eviction, that's going to be an extra hurdle that you're going to need to overcome. Um, and then uh, credit, if your credit's really bad, um, it could cause a not denial, but it also, if it doesn't cause a denial, it may end up causing you to have to pay another month's rent uh, in order to move in. Uh, most places will have an application fee that's non-refundable, and that's basically the cost for them to do the background check and the credit check. Uh, I've seen it anywhere from $25 to $150. It's per adult that's going to be moving into the facility. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, now, um, one of the best things you can do if you have that kind of some something in your background that you think might prevent you from being accepted as a tenant um, if you're working with me or you're working with another realtor make sure you let them know that up front um, i've been successful at getting people into places with a history um, but i don't want you spending application fee after application fee after application fee just to get denied if we know you're going to be denied and so i have a strategy for working with uh, people in those types of situations uh, to try to at least help avoid application fees um, now you might not be able to be as picky uh, for the place that you're getting because um, you've got to reestablish good rental history um, but at least i can uh, hopefully save you some money on uh, application fees and just get you applying to a place that's going to look past your situation or willing to take into account any any mitigating circumstances um, and still rent to you um, so that's a little bit of information um, in terms of how I work with renters, um, what's helpful for me to know is, number one, if you do have any of those background issues, because like I said, it's a little different strategy in trying to find you a rental if you have uh, bad credit or uh, evictions or criminal history. Uh, but once you've shared that, obviously I need to know how many beds and baths you're looking for, I need to know whether or not you have any pets. Uh, it's helpful for me to know uh, any other special requirements that you're looking for out of your rental um, in terms of what you're looking for in your next home, what locations you're interested in, as, far, as well as kind of how far out you're willing to be from like a job or something like that. Um, that's helpful for me to set up a search and get you uh, properties that will match your criteria. Um, be realistic um, and also just share with you a lot of people want a fenced yard I just don't see too many fenced yards uh, for rental properties right now um, I think I could make a killing if I owned a lot of properties and put up a fence and rented them out um, but there's just not a lot of those out there uh, unfortunately um, but you know certainly if we find one that's great what will happen is once I set, start sending you properties I'll ask you to tell me which ones you're interested in and then um, we'll work on scheduling a time where I can uh, go and show you the homes. Um, right now with the coronavirus, uh, it might be that uh, there's some virtual tours available so we can minimize the number of homes we're going into, um, but certainly we'll work with your schedule and my schedule and, and the availability of the home to schedule showings for you. Once we've done that, if you decide that there's a home that you like, uh, then I will get you the application materials for that home and um, kind of guide you through the application process but you'll be applying directly with the landlord or the property management company um, that's managing that listing 
Um, and so I can just guide you, but the money and all that's not going to me. I'm just kind of a, a an advisor at that point. Um, and hopefully you'll get approved and, and be in the place. Um, I'll have you fill up some paperwork for my brokerage because we need to have a record that I helped you find something. And then um, my process is to stay in touch with you and talk with you. Um, you know, hopefully the rental's working out. Um, and then maybe we can start talking about how we can set you up to hopefully purchase in the next year or so. Um, so that's a little bit about how the rental process works. Um, you know, again, if you have some of those things in your background, it doesn't necessarily mean you can't rent. It just means it's going to be harder and it's probably going to cost you a little bit more money. Um, but we can strategize about that if I know about it, okay? Um, I hope you found this information helpful, this little guide to, to a rental and how the rental process works. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm happy to help you however I can. Have a great day.